What's up, YouTube? I do not know what I'm doing here right now. I don't have any plans for this, but I'm hoping to do some sort of vlog slash what I do in a week being in off season, but I'm really excited to be picking up the camera. I just felt like it this morning. I was just like, I want to talk to absolutely nobody. So I picked up my camera and then let the dogs in. So much to catch up on YouTube. I am in a new house. I have, hello, I have a precious little doggy named Maverick. I am currently in off season, as I just said. I plan to start a prep in March. So that's like right around the corner. It's still like up in the air, but I do have summer competing plans, late summer complete competing plans. So we'll see how far that goes. Sorry, my face looks absolutely insane. I need to shower and I need to fix my face. I'm just so excited. I don't even have the time to be vlogging, but I'm gonna make time because it makes me happy and that's all that matters. Full time in school, so we'll see how I can do this all, but we're gonna make it work. So follow along. I do not know what the future holds as far as... Maverick, can you say hello? Come here, come here. Like I said, I do not know what the future holds for vlogging, but we're gonna make something out of it. We're gonna share some tips and tricks on how I'm ugh, bulking, building, um, getting in my food, my meals, and making time to train, full-time PTA student. So there's a lot to unpack there, but I will see you in the next clip, whatever that may be. posing more even though it's like peak off season right now which is really rough because no one wants to like look at yourself in a bikini when you're like 15 20 pounds heavier than your stage weight but i'm making a promise to myself that my posing will only get better if i keep doing it i gotta face it if there's a little more body fat but it's normal so i'm trying to get better at posing even though it's off season not gonna lie i <laughs> this for the first time in like months a couple days ago and i'm still sore from a couple days ago Posing is hard and it hurts your back. It's a whole workout in itself. But you gotta do it, you wanna get better. So here we are. I'm gonna leave my top tips for posing, not exactly directly relating to posing itself, but things that I do that kind of help with it. So number one is vacuuming. So every morning before I eat breakfast, I'll do vacuums. So if you don't know what that is, it's basically like blowing out all the air and then sucking your stomach and then holding it for as long as you can. It's not comfortable at all, but I do like three sets of just holding it as long as I can, which it's not very long, maybe 20 seconds, just practicing keeping your stomach really, really tight. And then you can do it in different like positions. If you're standing up, it's get, it gets harder. All fours is probably the easiest way to do it. So that's one tip, vacuuming. Another thing, foam rolling your back. So I'll like lay on my foam roller and I'll get the foam roller right on the arch of my back where like the lumbar spine is and I'll just lay over it stretching out your back that's what you need well that's probably one of the most important tips for posing is having a limber back because the tightness is what's getting me so sore like my back is so tight that when I'm holding that arch for a prolonged amount of time it hurts so bad so if you can just get your back already stretched out I would do that you could also do a yoga wheel I don't have a yoga wheel but that works just the same it's probably even better because it accentuates the arch in your back and you lean over a yoga wheel and Another tip is always posing in your posing heels. It really makes a difference being in heels. It makes a difference how your legs look. It, it helps lift your legs just in general. So always use posing heels. If you just try to step on your tippy, stand on your tippy toes while you're doing it, it's just not the same effect. You're too focused on balancing. So wear your heels when you're posing. Keep it simple. When you're first making a posing routine, people want to like add their own flair and make it super like unique, which is all great, fine and dandy. But start with the basics. Hit that front pose. Easy transition to the back pose and then right back to the front pose. Like there shouldn't be a lot of things. You know me, I love to do my hair flips, but that's just kind of like once you nail the front and back pose. So don't get too crazy with your, your transitions. Think of more tips as they come to me, but that, those are my tips at the moment. because I was just chasing my dog. Um, got some pineapple for fruit, green apples, chili powder. This is the only seasoning I use on my lean ground turkey. I hear my dog crying in the background. He's 
definition of being a good boy. Got some guacamole because I'm too lazy to get avocados and have them go bad. And I thought about being healthier and getting like full avocados and just cutting them, but I don't have the time or energy, so this is way easier. Sorry, I'm sorry. I mean, ground turkey, salmon, which I'm gonna cook right now. So yeah, short and sweet, but some good protein sta uh, staples and some yummy fruit. So there's a little grocery haul. What's up vlog? It has been a day. I had school pretty much all day today. And then I had a three hour lab that was like such a brain fart type lab where it literally left me exhausted and tired and wanting to cry. On top of that, I finished my lab and I need to go fill up my tires with air. And I figured like it was just because of the cold weather that my car had low pressure, but no, it didn't go away. Air pressure tire thing didn't work. So I'm like already on edge because I had a rough class. So that just like tipped me over the ledge and I like freaked, had a freak out, a whole mental breakdown because I couldn't fill up my air with tire, my tires with air. Oh my God, I'm still like not in the right mind. I texted my dad and I was like, please meet me after work to come help me with my tires because I can't do it and I'm about to freak out. So he meets me after and then he notices that I have a headlight out. So to Walmart together, got a headlight, replaced my headlight real quick, pronto dente. After all that, like two hours later, when this whole shenanigan started, I finally go get my air pressure filled up. Everything's fine now. On top of that, I was super hangry and starving. That was really annoying and stressful, but we're here. And I got my meal in and I was just, all I could think of the whole time was my salmon and my rice. That's what happens when you start following the meal plan, like diligently. Look forward to that next meal almost too much, where if someone's in your way and you can't get to your meal at your right time, you feel a little crazy. But it's okay, I'm fed. I'm calm now, kind of. So yeah, I feel like I need to unwind and de-stress and probably put on some funny Disney movie to calm my anxiety. So yeah, that was my day and I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, so it's currently like 0.2 seconds after that last clip, but I'm showing you, this lighting is so bad. Oh, how do I look like that? I'm gonna show you my little nighttime meal that I have almost every night, it's so good. Okay, y'all are gonna think I'm weird, but I have a scoop of this PE Science chocolate protein powder and like a half serving of this yogurt. I mix it up and then I put them on a couple rice cakes and then it's like a little spread, like a protein spread. And it sounds weird, but it's actually delicious. So highly recommend if you want a low cow protein snack. Good morning, y'all. It is 7 a.m. and I've been getting up at 4.30 for the past couple days. I mean, I'm not really complaining because it's kind of shifting my schedule to where I want it to be. Like I'm going to bed earlier and stuff. But me and Maverick are on a little walkie walk. And I'm trying to get back into the routine of walking him every morning after breakfast to just kind of get the day going and it's beautiful out so it's a good start to the day we made it to the bay it's so pretty out what's up guys so i'm in my car getting ready to go into work if you guys didn't know i bartend at a restaurant in 30a that's been an interesting thing to manage this past week of staying of staying super on my meals because when you're serving if you're if you're a server or bartender you know this it's so hard to find time to eat like because you're on your feet 24 7. i've been getting smoothies during my shift i'll either pack one or buy one this is like a really hefty one from smoothie king because it's free upsize friday so basically you get a bigger one for the size of a smaller one. That's my key to getting my calories in during my shifts or the protein bars or something like that because there's no time to sit and eat some chicken and rice, which is kind of annoying. I'm making do. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because I don't think I have anything else exciting planned for this week. Um, it's Friday, I started the vlog on Sunday. I feel like I've only picked up my camera in the most boring moments possible, so I'm sorry for that. But I don't really have much going on in my life except work and school and working out and homework and eating and that's basically it. But yeah, if anything substantial happens, I will let you know. So following along, you know, we're in this together. I appreciate all the support and all the love. Sorry, I don't have any more interesting shenanigans to speak about. Maybe that'll change. I need some excitement in my life. Toodles, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And someone's watching me film right now. Love you guys. I'll see you next time.